Hey everyone, I am Meg from Live and Stamps and you are watching Maker Mornings with Meg. I missed you guys last week so much. Uh, I was out of town. We had a spring break trip to Edmonton, Canada, so Edmonton, Alberta, and then we went to Canmore and went skiing and hiking and Banff and things like that. And I have a really, really exciting announcement that I'm going to share with you guys during our video today. So stay tuned for that. Um, it's about a new collaboration you guys are going to be really excited about. So, but today's card is actually um, one of my favorite stamp sets from the online exclusive. So this is Pets and More, and it is a really sweet set. Um, it's reversibles, which means you can flip those little characters back and forth. They're symmetrical, so really cool design work on Stampin' Up's part. And with these um, stamps, we're going to make a Z Fold card, which is a really terrific layout, one you will always want to be using for all kinds of fun things. And if you're watching, make sure you pop in and say hi so that I know you guys are there. So I know I, was, I missed you guys last week, and then we had that like crazy Facebook hiccup the other um, the week before. So anyway, we're like all over the place these days, but we're back. So with that, um, I'm going to pull out my Lighter Than Air Designer Series paper with these super pretty colors and our Pets and More and a variety of inks that I will show you. And we're going to make a card that is part of the Loman Stamps Monthly Tutorial. So um, in Stampin' Up! News, this is like crazy big time. Yesterday was the release of the new uh, 2024 to 2025 um, book for demonstrators. So we got to have access to that. Um, and if you are like missing out, you can go ahead and join my little and samples family and then you can have access to it too. So Trish, it's so good to see you. Long time no see. Yay. All right. Um, so with that, let's go ahead and switch our camera and we will work on getting started here. So like I said, uh, pets and more, we have um, the Lighter Than Air Designer Series paper, which is these very, very cute, um, pretty colors here that are nicely done in pastels. And then we have our um, cardstock uh, here for the card bases and so forth. So um, this is their, uh, like I said, part of monthly tutorials and it includes, um, if you are ordering uh, during the month of March uh, from me, you will get the um, PDF tutorials for these, um, the four cards that I'm going to show you. And uh, two of those have been seen already. And you're going to get kits in the mail for two of those um, kits also, or two of those cards also. Hey, Sue. So this is um, the third of the cards for this month. And Z folds are very, very simple. So Let's just talk about the basic design for this. It's just a regular card. This one happens to be the long way, four and a quarter by 11. And you're gonna go ahead and score it in half so that it folds at five and a half inches. And then you're gonna score again. So if you're measuring, this is gonna be two and three quarter inches from the front. And ta-da, there we have our Z fold card base. It's really that simple, okay? Pretty much any card design that you can come up with can be turned into a Z fold. And you guys know I love them. In fact, um, the one I just shared with you right before um, our spring break was also a Z fold. This is a narrow Z fold. So you can see it's kind of the same idea. You're gonna score your card in half, but then instead of scoring this part in half, I scored it at just an inch and a quarter so that we have this narrow fold here and it gives you just a little bit different effect. So um, like if, I, if it blows your mind that those are really the same card um, idea, uh, then, well, hopefully you'll be okay. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Jeffrey. Um, yes, it's good to be back. I've missed you guys. Um, while I was gone, I uh, had the chance to come up with a really, really fun collaboration that I'm going to announce um, during our video today. So be sure to uh, be listening for that. So, all right. So I've got a piece of card or designer series paper that I'm going to put on the front of our card. Um, I like to decorate this panel, especially. You can also decorate this one if you want to, um, just so that we definitely have that fun um, front to our card. Now, usually on the inside, I go ahead and put a um, put a layer that is uh, white. But because our panel on the front is going to be a little smaller, I decided to go with a cardstock panel here. So this one is just four inches by five and a quarter inches, and it is going to get our greeting. So. 
for the greetings. Because Pets and More doesn't have greetings, I really love the chance. Oh, that's what that was. <laughs> I really love the chance to feature um, a, a greeting stamp set. And so um, we featured a couple already. Let's see. Last time I featured um, the Love for You stamp set with this Nobody Gets Me Like You Get Me. Um, I think we've already featured uh, Happy Hedgehogs here with a Finding the Friend is the Best Discovery of All. And today I'm going to feature um, sweet, Sweetest Cherries. And this kind of reminds me um, to have you on the lookout um, to for the posting of the uh, retiring list. So we have two books that are about to disappear. Not like today. Um, where's my big book? Uh, but two books that are about to disappear in the next short while. So this one and uh, the other one, which is across the room. And they um, have retiring lists that are posted as of yesterday. So watch for those on my Live and Stamps website um, and also on my social media channels. Or it will be links to those. Um, so that you know what's going to disappear uh, at the end of April. So that gives us basically like a month and a couple weeks. Um, so that you don't miss out on things that might be retiring. So I'm not saying this one is, I honestly can't remember. <laughs> okay, so Sweetest Cherries is gonna be our feature for today's greetings. And I'm gonna pull, we're gonna make a birthday card because I just love the, um, you know, birthday cards are great for so many, um, you know, how many, everybody has a birthday every year, right? There's always a good reason to be sending a birthday card to someone. So we're gonna use um, the birthday greeting here and I'm going to live dangerously. Now nah, I'll put it on this one. I was gonna say I'm gonna live dangerously and put it on the back of a block that's already mounted. It's just sometimes hard to see when you do that. So um, always handy to just have another block nearby. And I'm gonna stamp this in Azure Afternoon um, and go ahead and pop this here on our card. Okay, so now we have our birthday wishes greeting. And this is gonna go inside our card. I'm sure you guys are wondering where the Pets and More is gonna come in and where our panel, what our panel decoration for the front of our card is going to be. Don't worry, we're getting there, I promise. All right, so there is our card base and front. Now we need to go ahead and work on our panel. So um, I'm gonna pull Azure Afternoon, which is a great match for the colors in the um, lighter than air designer series paper, which will be going away, by the way. This is going to retire, um, so while supplies last on this one. And I'm going to go ahead and pop this on here, and we're going to go ahead and layer um, a basic white layer on top. I love to um, have a, this uh, layered element here, and if you think about, um, whoops, sorry. Uh, hey, Marty. Okay, if you think about um, repeating things, which I often say you're supposed to repeat stuff, um, part of the repeat on this is going to be this border here. So the border around this and the border around this, that's a repeated element. So um, we like to repeat things for kind of the continuity purpose of it. And we're going to grab these and we're going to go ahead here with our sweet. And um, we're going to we're going to do wishing you a sweet day. There are so many things you can mix and match from Swedish cherries. And like I said, we're not using the cherries, so we're not going to worry um, you know that we're making it too uh, making it too specific here or anything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put sweet on there, and then I'm gonna bring back in Azure Afternoon, and we're gonna have uh, wishing you a sweet day. I guess we're not gonna do that one. Okay, I'm gonna flip it over. I was looking at what stamps I've got here. I'm going to do. I'm gonna show you wishing you a sweet day because I have that one finished, but I'm going to do um, Life is Sweet with You in It. All right, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna do that a little bit up there and then put Life is Sweet like that and then here's With You in It. So like I said, there are a lot of different ways that you can mix and match and combine these. There we go. All right, so now we have our greeting that's going to layer here on our Azure afternoon and pop across here. But now we need some pets, right? And I think this greeting is kind of ideal for this set here because it makes the most of it. Um, the size of the panel. You know what, Sue, usually I do a three by four panel for this. I think this one is, this one's three and a quarter by four and a quarter, and this is three by four. So 
Um, actually, I guess that's the same I always do. Never mind. So three by four cards, which I do often, uh, is going to go here. And then the panel that goes behind it is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. So, all right. So let's bring some pets out here. Um, we're going to actually fit four on here, which I realize you're thinking like, what? How are you going to get four pets on there? And uh, I promise it will work. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead. We're going to stamp our dog. And for the dog, I really like to... Um, include him um, by stamping his outline in the darker color here. And that is going to be uh, Daffodil Delight. And I'm going to stamp him again here. Okay. And then we're going to need a uh, background for him. And when I do the background, I'm going to flip this over to the back side. Sorry, I think I just did that off camera for you. And I am going to use um, our uh, lemon lolly for this. So it's the lighter of the yellows. And I actually really kind of like to um, stamp this off on a scrap paper, which I just did off screen. And then I'm gonna stamp this here over the top. And then I'm gonna repeat that once more for our second character. And if you're wondering why I'm doing this twice, um, it'll, it will become clear as we go along. All right, we're gonna add our kitty friend and we're gonna do that one in purple. So this is Fresh Freesia and I'm gonna do, um, oh, I guess I'm gonna have to do this in a different order. Okay, there's Fresh Freesia there. And then, I, let's see, I need our Calypso Coral back because we're going to clean up some of the ink on our mat. And with Calypso Coral, it's really hard to space these guys if you're not doing them in order. So I was getting them out of order here. So Calypso Coral for our little foxy friend who we haven't really used too much on my videos yet. So I'm kind of excited to pull it in. And there is our foxy friend. And um, we're going to, now we're going to add our cat friend here. And these I might not um, double stamp. Uh, with the background color. I think just our dog is gonna do that. And then our last one here, we haven't, um, I haven't shown you yet in any of our videos, is gonna be our um, bird character here. And I'm using the bird character, honestly, because it fits best. The rabbit is fun, but um, it would have had to go over here and we put our kitty friend there. So let's go here with our bird and we'll pop the bird there on the end. Okay, so now we have our characters and I didn't double stamp these yet so I'll do that and this one here so all of these colors if you're wondering like Meg how did you come up with all those colors that's not enough space um how'd you come up with all those colors well the answer to that is that they are um, selected because they're all part of the um lighter than air designer series paper so a lot of times when I'm selecting colors I look at what the papers are that um, Stampin' Up! Um, has added with the different color combinations, and then I pull from those color combinations. So, All right, so let's pull this in here. We're going to have our Life is Sweet with You in it panel, which we have layered here on our elements here. Um, hey, Becky. Hey, Mary Ellen. I'm not sure why. Uh... This, like my comments are in a weird place today. So anyway, they seem to be going out of order. There we go. Okay. I think I got it fixed. Um, oh, Jeffrey says it would take him longer to get the alignment straight. Um, you know, stamping is like one of those muscles that the more you use it, the more you, uh, the, the easier it is. So, um, actually I do have another tip for getting things straight. So, um, hang on here and I will actually, I'll show you with this. So, when I, um, when I mount things or stamp things or have anything that I need to do with any accuracy, um, this tip comes from wheel throwing pottery, which is, um, one of my other favorite past, uh, past and present sometimes, um, hobbies. But what I have found is that it helps to brace your hands. And I know that you can't really see this, but I'm putting my hand, the edge of my hand right here on the mat. And that way, when I am adjusting, all I'm doing is like moving up or down or left and right. I'm not like also hovering and trying to get things, um, trying to get things straight. So I'm, I'm using a base where I've anchored my hand onto 
the table, and actually I'm doing it with my left hand too. That way, um, it's just really easy to control where my hand is going and where I'm placing things. So um, think about that for your stamping too, um, about getting it, you know, getting your, your, uh, getting your things braced so that they go where you want them to and you're not like shifting. Okay, so this is kind of the idea of our card, but we are not even close to done yet here. Um, because what we're gonna do with this is add a, um, a really fun extra element to our funds here, and that is going to be to um, layer them. So I'm gonna do a quick fussy cut here, and this is a great stamp set for fussy cutting because it has uh, very smoothed edges. And so as you know from fussy cutting lessons with Meg, um, you are going to always keep your scissors in the same spot and just use your free hand to move your paper around so that you get that nice even border. So, okay, so this also gives me time to tell you a little bit about um, my exciting collaboration news. So um, I know some of you guys already watch uh, the Why Did I Buy This series um, from Lindsay Mann, uh, who is Inky Thumbs on Facebook and social media and so forth. But she runs a really fun video series about like, hey, you have this tool or this thing that's in your supplies and you've got it, but are you using it? Well, let's make sure you are. And so it's the answers to all those like, what was this thing again? Um, so it's a really fun series and Lindsay is one of my stamping besties. And so we are going to collaborate and have a maker club that is a combination of Maker Mornings with Meg and the Why Did I Buy This series. And so it is the Why Did I Buy This Maker Club. And if you choose to participate in the Maker Club, you will get um, a chance to get together with us on uh, an exclusive extra episode each month um, that is virtual. And you can come and attend. And part of it will be um, the chance to see more ideas, but part of it will be a chance to ask all of your questions and um, have some stamping time together. And to make that stamping time together even more fun, you will, as you're part of your subscription to the Maker Club, you will get a box in the mail each month um, with uh, about $35 US of stamping supplies in it. And that will... Um, be one, some of the things that you can use. And they'll all be consumable stuff. Um, they'll be great things that you either haven't tried or you'll want to try a little bit more of. Um, they'll be like seasonal product share basically that comes every month. And I know product shares are like something that you guys love because <laughs> they've been really popular um, over the last couple of months, the last year. So um, there is a link in the video description to information about the Why Did I Buy This Maker Club? And you um, will want to get signed up for that as soon as possible so that you'll be ready to get your um, the first kit, which will come out in April. So um, if you have any questions about that, check the website. And since it's all brand new, if you have any questions, you're like, I don't think I get this, Meg, um, please let me know. Um, but if you are in the United States, then you'll um, you use sign up the same way either way. But if you're in the United States, your kits will ship from me. If you are in Canada, your kits will ship um, from Lindsay. And if you are international, we actually aren't allowed to ship outside the US and Canada, but um, we still would welcome you to participate in the club. And that would be, um, you would go ahead and pay a subscription and it would be a virtual uh, subscription for you. So no product, but still a chance to participate virtually in all the fun club sessions. So, and an exclusive uh, Facebook group and so forth. So, okay. Oh, Michelle, I'm glad you like it. Okay, so back to our regularly scheduled programming. These are our sweet characters. And this is a great reminder for you that you do not have to use a whole stamp or a whole image necessarily to fit on your card. Cause it would be, um, we'd have one card from our series that we did put all the characters on, all four characters or four of the five, I guess. Um, but otherwise it's hard to get them all on there. So instead, what we're gonna do is we are going to pop these guys up. So I have a um, sheet of Stampin' Dimensionals here and I'm gonna go ahead and put one of these on each character. Now, I might have gotten them a little bit close together. When you're doing your version of this card, um, whether you're doing it just uh, from the video or you are um, got the Maker Moines with Meg, or sorry, the monthly tutorials, monthly Love and Stamps tutorials um, for the month of March. Um, 
as a PDF by placing an order, you might want to make sure you don't put these too close together like this so that you have enough space for everyone to participate, or everyone to be part of your little card family. And I, you also can take a little bit of license here with your placement. So like I didn't put the bird exactly where it was before. It's a little bit shifted over. I'm gonna do the same trick here with our kitty cat. And that's not a kitty cat, that's the fox friend. And then here's our cat. So they all do kind of fit. So just make sure you leave space. Now, you're like, hey, that's not very neat there at the bottom. <laughs> I agree. So you could just leave it like this and have them hang off the bottom. Actually, that might not be terrible. Um, but what I'm gonna do is do my scissors trick. And I really like to cut from the back side of this because then you can see exactly what you need to cut. So just this little trim here for our parakeet friend and our, um, I don't remember what order they're in now. Uh, and speaking of parakeets, did you guys, uh, does anyone have any parakeet, the budgies? We had um, kind of a series of them in my family. And our last one was, a, uh, she, she passed away a few years ago. We crossed the rainbow bridge, uh, but she was like 16 or 17 or something crazy like that. So um, Blue Drops was her name. Anyway, so I have kind of a fun place in my heart for little um, fun parakeet friends. So now we have our uh, card here. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and attach this with uh, more Stampin' Dimensionals, cause why not? So what you wanna do is make sure that you do not cross the midline here or you will be sealing your card shut. So I'm gonna go ahead and because this is a panel, I know you're like, Meg, four dimensionals, that is a lot. Um, you're gonna find that you, uh, I always like to put a few more on things that move so that the panels don't come apart or um, you know, people are gonna be opening and closing this card so many times because it's too cute. And so then uh, you don't want that panel to come popped off or anything. So there is our fun card. We'd clearly need some bling on this, right? So I have the um, rainbow adhesive back dots, which match perfectly the lighter than air designer series paper. And let's see, I actually have this little package here that I've been working from, so pull this off. And let's see what colors and where to pop these babies. Um, I kind of feel like we should go with purple or maybe the yellow. Um, to repeat this yellow, it kind of jumps out a little here. So let's maybe pop a couple of these on here. Life is sweet and I'm gonna pop a large and a small. Uh, we could put them together here. Okay, this is one of my favorite tricks, so I'll point this out to you guys. I actually haven't pushed this one down yet. It's just barely attached. So that makes it pretty easy to just slide up and move. And what if we do one here? I always like to kind of have some motion in them. Life is sweet with you in it. But then I feel like we need um, a little bit more. Maybe we'll do across the corners of sweet like that. Okay, I still haven't pushed that down. And then if I wanna do one more, cause I like to do things in threes, I might put this one, I think down there. So what I wanna avoid doing is having them on the same plane. So I don't want them to be vertical or horizontal lines. I want them to kind of have some interest here. I kinda of like this actually, where it really focuses more on the word sweet. So life is sweet with you in it. There we go. I'm Okay, I'm happy. So I'm pushing those down now so they'll stay where I put them. So that gives us um, a very extra fun. So life is sweet with you in it, birthday wishes. So um, you could do all kinds of customization for this card. You could change out the colors, you could change out um, the characters that are on here. Somebody has a special friend. You wouldn't have to use all four necessarily. Uh, you could do cats, like a whole series of kitties in different colors. Um, you could change out the, um, if you're not doing birthdays, you could change out the greetings from here. Cause of course, Swedish cherries has a lot of really great choices. Um, wishing you a sweet day. Thanks for being so sweet. Um, all kinds of good choices there for mixing and matching those. And then of course you could put like a little paw print right there, birthday wishes, which we didn't do, but it's super easy because that's just part of the stamp set. So. All right, you guys wanna see the other cards here from the um, series. So I've showed you this one today. I've showed you this one was our first card, um, episode, I'm not sure, four, 
438 or something, 439. So there's this one where we had that hedgehog's greeting. Oops, focus. Uh, finding a friend is the best discovery of all. And then the last episode, I showed you that narrow Z fold card design, which I love. Um, and this one used our uh, Ghost or Golden Retriever friend there too, and some decorations both on the inside and the outside. So there are three of the four, and you can come back on Thursday, and I will show you um, two more. Um, oh, Jeffrey, you had two sister blue and yellow. Ah, oh, Tommy and Jerry. 13 years is pretty awesome. Um, wow, and they hatched their they hatched the um, parakeets. That's really really fun. They are great. They are great pets. They're so easy and they're so friendly. And uh, when when Blue Drops was little, she actually we had like a little basket with a handle on it. So. It was like a basket and then a little perch. I mean, it was only about this big. And so she, when like the ki the little kids, um, when the kids were little in our family, she used to come out of her uh, cage and she used to sit on top of that basket handle and she would just sit there and like eat breakfast with us. Like she would participate in our family conversations while we were, um, while we were having breakfast together. She, she'd just sit, you know, on her basket on the table. It was really fun. She was a great bird. So, oh. Kind of miss her now. All right. So, oh, and Becky says they just got a, cold, a cream golden retriever puppy. That is amazing. So sweet. So, well, I hope it has uh, been fulfilling for you guys to come back and be part of Maker Mornings with Meg this morning. And um, if you're watching now or later, hey, Char. Um, I hope that you guys are excited too about this uh, Maker Club, Maker Club box, Maker Club community um, the why did I buy this maker club um, that I am going to be doing with Lindsay. So April will be our first month. So now is the time to sign up for that. Um, it's really simple. Just go to the link on my website, fill out the form, and then you'll get um, a subscription uh, invoice email. And then you just set up your payment method for the subscription. It's a monthly club. You can cancel any time. Um, but you probably won't want to miss anything. And there will be really great chances to try out lots of product in there. And... Uh, a chance to, you know, just sample lots of things. So we'll give you ideas for using all the stuff in your box and then um, have a chance to gather with you each month. If you can't attend the live uh, Zoom that we do for our Maker Club session, you'll be able to watch the recordings later, no problem. And uh, yeah, we're really excited about it. It's It'll be a great time, so... Um, all right, everybody. Thanks so much for joining me for our return from spring break episode of Maker Mornings with Meg. Uh, because you know what? This message goes out to all of you. Life is sweet with you in it. And oh, I never, um, I never showed you the other one. So this one is the uh, wishing you a sweet day version. So two different greetings for this card. And uh, either way, it's really fun to be able to have the um, card front show when your card is open. So always a great treat with a Z fold card. So, all right, everybody have a wonderful day and I'll see you on Thursday for our next Mika Mornings with Meg. So happy stamping everyone.